happy Halloween, everybody! Today, we're gonna learn how to make a spooky house for our little shoppy dolls over here. And we're also gonna learn how to decorate it. Stay tuned. Hey, s'mores, it's Rose here. And today, life means more some Halloween fun. So, I was inspired to do a little foldable haunted house by my froggy stuff video. Her video was very interesting the link will be in the description to that that's how i did this all i did a little differently from her i used folders instead of cutting like the rooms because i thought folders would be better and since these dolls are a little smaller than barbie dolls it'll be easier and more size appropriate to them see because it's like two shoppies high the foldable house hi so before i show you guys how to decorate this beautiful haunted house we're gonna show the costumes. <laughs> Some that need a little explaining. This is Blossom Apples. She is a witch. She has a little witch hat and a Barbie sh shirt with apples. Kind of looks like a dress shirt. <laughs> she looks very cute in it. Bridie over here might be hard to guess, but she's um the bride of Frankenstein, which is why she has stitches. And I did not draw on her. If you look very closely, why it's so reflective is because it's actually tape. Do not draw on your dolls because it might not be removable. Okay, just a warning. That's why I put tape because I didn't want to actually damage her. And I didn't do anything with her hair. I just tied it up and fluffed the end of it to make it look like the Bride of Frankenstein's hair. Over here is Rosa Pinata and she is a skull for obvious reasons. All this is is a cut out piece of foam. I drew a skull face and I used little tiny wire to tie it around her so it can be a mask. She's still her under there. Let me see if I can get her to stand. Okay, pop out here that you probably saw is a mermaid. This is also a Barbie skirt. I like using Barbie clothes because I didn't feel like sewing all their clothes. So I just used Barbie clothes. So this was a Barbie skirt and it's very shimmery so it reminds me of scales. So I used that to make a mermaid tail. Rosa! <laughs> Donatina looks very funny. I have to say, this is probably one of some of my best to work with her. Just kidding, it's not. She's a vampire. I just took paper, put it in her teeth to make it look like fangs. This is from the Lego minifigure, the Spider Lady from Series 13. And this is a Barbie dress again to make it look like a vampire dress. And to cover up her top, I put a ring spider. I'm pretty sure you guys all have ring spiders. They're usually very popular. I have a lot. Except I broke a lot of them as well and lost just as many. Pirouette over here is a ghost. All I took was like this sheet and drew a ghost on it. I used Gemma Stone's hoodie for a reference to see how they made it hood. I made it very large so it can come over her eyes. Hello. And I drew a face on it. And I used the Barbie necklace to tie it around her neck. Rainbow Kate's also over here. I didn't really do anything. This is the party Rainbow Kate, and she looked like a fairy. I'm like, that's a perfect Halloween costume for her. So that's her Halloween costume. Very, very basic. I'm going to save the one I like the best for last. Over here is Tippy. She has fairy wings. Now, I did not make these fairy wings. These fairy wings were part of a very old LPS set that's not even around anymore. It was back when they were making fairies and stuff, and I had a Blythe doll, and the Blythe doll had these wings. And I just took it off of her, and I put on Tippy because it, it, like, fits around their waist underneath the plastic part. So, ta-da, she has wings. And I didn't have one of these fairies. I had two of these LPS Blythe fairies. So, Macy got the other one, and I gave her, what's this dress? A Barbie dress. It's the galaxy dress. She's a lunar fairy. Very, very fancy. I also just pick some of these because of their hair colors. I thought Dolentina would make sense because her hair was closest to red. There's actually no red hair. So oh, wait, there's Pippa. There is Pippa. But Pippa looked too cute to be a vampire. So does Donatina. And why Donatina run over, went over Pippa for being the vampires? Because Donatina is a lot lighter. And Apple Blossom, Blossom Apples actually, is the witch because of her green hair. Bridie, only because she was a bride already. Tippy only because they, her colors actually match the wings. 
I chose Papa to be the mermaid because of her hair color. It looks very mermaidy. Look at this ocean blue. Rosa Pinata was obviously chose to be a skeleton for obvious reasons. Her makeup was inspired by Day of the Dead makeup. <laughs> and my favorite, Pow, Polly Polish as a cat. She was chosen to be a cat because when I was making the twister tie, I realized her buns already kind of look like cat ears. So I wrapped the twister tie around to form cat ears and ta-da, put tape on her face, drew a cat whiskers. And the tail is my favorite part, which is why I like it so much. It's a wire tail. I took off her skirt. I put the same gold wire that I used to make Rosa Pinata's mask. I wrapped it around her waist and I twisted it. I made it long. Then I wrapped the twister tie around the extended part out here. And then this is some fur. Found at like the craft store, I think it was Joanne's, that I glued onto the twister tie and the golden wire. And ta da! So now we have this posable long cat tail, which I love a lot. Ta da! That is so cute. So, on to the actual decorating of the house. After I'm done showing decorating it, I'm gonna explain everything and why I put certain stuff in certain rooms. Be right back. Just to tell you, the floor, the actual grass part, is separate. I took a piece of cardboard, painted it with a paint and a sponge to make it look kind of like grass. The outside here was decorated. I'll explain that a little later. But it's all foldable. See, I used one, two, three folders. That's one folder with the foldable floor. Here's another folder. Hold on. <laughs> With another foldable floor. That folds down. I'll fold that back. And here's another folder. I made this room a little longer so it actually doesn't bend at the fold. See? Over here is one folder that I laid out. The actual bend point for the folders here. But I decided to glue the next folder right over here. If that makes sense. <laughs> Here's an area of you to help you understand the folder technique. We have one folder that was straight. I kept it straight. That was gonna I was gonna glue everything on that. I glued one folder this way to this one straight folder and another folder this way. Because I wanted this room to be a little longer. I wanted this room to be a long. But this room it didn't really matter. It could be stay that size. Ta-da!
Hey guys, time to show you and explain how I designed this. I waited till it was nighttime to make this even more spoopier. <laughs> so, as you can see, I put a ring in here. It's a light up ring. You can find it at Party City. And I put it in the new glow in the dark pumpkins to make it look like it's actually glowing. Then I put the tree right here. And the tree was made with just a normal branch. All I had to do was break some of the branches and re-glue them in certain places using hot glue to make it look more like a tree their size. And it goes out the frame, but it's still cool looking. Woo! We got these little grave erasers sitting around. This one says boo, for example. And those were found at Target. You can find them in like the dollar store section. But we found them last year, so we have no idea if they're going to have them this year or not. And if you don't want to make this tree, Target also had black trees there that you can put instead. These leaves were found at Michael's last year as well. I think they should still have them, though. And these were last year's Halloween pumpkins. Ooh. Up on the door, I glued some twine to make it look like vines. And the door can open and close, and so can these shutters up here. And I put like a light over there, a yellow light, for example, so it looks more like a house light. Spooky, as Pooh would have floats away. <laughs> for the background, the wall, and the paper on the house, those were just printed off online. You can find designs and print them to make your house look however you want, or if you already have a dollhouse that you store your shoppies in, you can just decorate it to make it more spookier. This is the spooky living room where the shoppies can be found trying to hatch an alicorn. So on this paper, I don't know if you can see, um, I was trying to make aged paper and you're supposed to put paper and you're supposed to soak with tea and cook it. Well, one of the papers I made got a little too crispy so I couldn't use it for the book. So I made it a scroll instead. It's a detailed description of how to hatch alicorns. Just kidding, I just scribbled on it and called it a day. But I decided to make these little creatures in their house because they are mystical and they're owls. And a lot of witches have owls, like um, Harry Potter. He's a wizard, same thing. <laughs> I put this little jelly. It's like a sticky... What are those? Spider web. Doy. A sticky spider web. And those were also found at Target. There's a whole sticky pack. It came with pumpkins and had spider webs in there and had this big gooey spider and crossbones. And I took that from the pack. We got it last year, so they probably don't have it now. And I put this Lego spider on it and called it a day. If you saw the Happy Places Halloween house, you can already know where this is from and the table. I just moved it in here. It actually still can fit these guys. I'm going to put Puppet since she's a little disabled right now. And who else should be happy? Helping her hatch. I think a fairy. Let's put Tippy in here as well. They're both learning how to hatch an owlicorn. And in the very back of the room, there's another owlicorn in the process of hatching. This was a fireplace found at Michael's. So were these little lamps. They used to be charms. So we clipped that part off. You can actually still see the rings on them. And I lost it. This was a custom made wand using a toothpick, gluing a gem on it, and then painting it with nail polish. Ta-da! You can go beepity, boppity, boo! <laughs> and also put fake spider webs to make it look old. Well, the one rolled away now, and that's just a Lego Minecraft from the new blind boxes that I just put on the wall to make it look like they have designs. And the borders around this room are spider webs. There's a black cat right over there. Welcome to the kitchen slash brewing area. As you can see, we have a cauldron. This was actually, I borrowed it from Blue. He got it during the St. Patrick's Day. And I was like, oh, it's a cauldron. I'll use that. And this came with, you'll see in the other one, there's this big coffin. It came with glow-in-the-dark things. And this was one of the pieces. And I thought it would be a good mixer. If you want to, you can put slime in the cauldron to make it look like they're brewing something. We'll put little blossom apples, our little witch over here. She has her black cat. This is a chubby puppy's black cat. They came in the blind bags. He's really cute. He's not really a black cat. He's a Siamese. But he's the closest I had to a black cat. But if you actually have a 
a little sharpie sized black cat you can use that this was a spell book i made and if you want to know how to make books i referenced a delightful video she talked about all about making books and i thought it was really cool all i did was just rip the paper to make it look a little worn add some fancy silver things to the corner of the books and added aged paper how do you get aged paper like I explained in the last room, you just take a piece of paper, put tea on it, and cook it. Make sure it doesn't burn. You're going to get burnt scrolls, which are the scrolls in the back. I use that paper to make the scrolls. Ta-da! All I did was take the burnt piece of paper, cut it, roll it up, and stick it on there. Or cut it into, like, sheets of paper. So you have this little witch's book. This is another magic wand. It's more of a fairy wand. It has a flower bead on the end twine and a stick over here on the table is a glass vial you can also find these at michael's they're really cute and cool and especially if you're making a halloween room also found on michael's a lot of these things are found on michael's it's a cute fruit basket i thought she could use some in her potion and let's move her i used a real life stick and broke it to make a ladder and glued it I knocked down some of the paper. And then, using the other bottles part of that bottle set, I filled them with little beads and stuff and put them on the shelf. That is a Barbie mortar and pestle. Those are bottles from Michael's. Those down there are two custom books using the same tutorial. This one is very hard to see. It says fairy magic. I might change that to make it more readable. I used a bright green pen. Don't know why I thought that was a good idea. If you're paying attention, you can actually see that there's Halloween shotguns from this year and last year on the shelves, on the bottom and top shelves. Ooh, the light. There's also Monster High minis on the shelf. Other shotguns, I use the Happy Place box packaging to put over the doors and the wall color was supposed to be candy corn but i realized candy corn is white orange and yellow shh, shh. We'll, we'll pretend that it's white orange and yellow i put a lps mini interim in a seashell that's supposed to be one of their pets he sleeps on the shelf i put fake cobwebs and up here i made a basket using twine all i did was take a ball that i didn't really care about wrap it around with twine glued one half of it not the other half so i could cut the other half off when it dried to make a basket and there's like happy places inside and flowers more monster high minis there's an lps frog there's a my mini mixie cue that fell over there's the other gooey spider web behind her and a lantern from join the party hello kitty so on to the last room so this is the bedroom and it's probably one of my favorite rooms because of the lights. You know how they have fair lights in the room? They have jack-o'-lantern lights. It's actually just a jack-o'-lantern necklace that I put across the foldable room to make lights. And it does this. You can see Vitruvius glowing in the back. And then we can also change it to blink more slowly or stay on. Ooh, that's a spooky, cool room. Hi, Donatina. She, she's sleeping. Don't wake the dead. So on this back shelf, this shelf was made from a set a while ago. It was like this wooden set. We found it online. We ordered it. We had to assemble it and everything. This was a while ago. I had this for a while. And all I did was put like little Minecraft, the new Halloween figures and other figures, like the witch drink of the potion, Alex with their Enderman, the werewolf, and the skeleton horse. And plus some my mini mixer cues on the shelf to decorate. And up there is the minifigure of Banshee and Vitruvius, who you saw glowing. I used the Monster High minis. Here's Claudine again. And I used the coffin as a side table. This is a candle I made myself. It was just using hot glue. All I did was take, cut the hot glue stick. And I had to wait sure, make sure the nozzle warmed up. And then I stuck it in and tried my best to make it look like a candle. I think it came up quite nice. And to make this little wick, with this, oh wait, I got rid of the sticker. 
But this had this is a glow in the dark Halloween set that you can find at Michael's. And I took it just for the coffin and like some of the stuff inside. And it came with like these wires so you can make the necklaces. So I cut a piece, put it in here, used the button, and made a candle. Made a witch's broom. Kind of like how I made that rack. That rack was made with wooden dowels and popsicle sticks. I used a wooden dowel and some twine and made a broom. Sweep, sweep. Over here is something that also glows in the dark. Oh, he looks so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Kind of creepy, too. Just go! I need to stop. This is just fun. It's like a little flashlight. So that's what the Cheshire Cat can do. I thought that was pretty funny. This is the Pusheen Cat. I think this is from Season 2. It came in inside a bag, and it's a black cat, so I put it on the bed. And this is just a book sock in the coffin bed. And a pillow I made using fabric and fluff. And that's what I use to make these rooms. So I hope you guys my tutorial and just showing out of how I decorated this custom haunted house. You can use some of these tips to decorate your own dollhouse if you have one for your shoppies. Or make your own room. I'll put all the links in the description below. And. It does the alicorn in her hair. <laughs> I had really fun making this. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you're going to make this as well. I would like to see pictures. You can tag us on Instagram. Our Instagram links will be in the description below. They're LNM underscore life needs more. That's what our name is on Instagram. And on Twitter, it's Life Needs More. L and M, Life Need More, because we couldn't fit the S. <laughs> so, have a happy Halloween, everybody. Bye. Bippity, boppity, boo. Done hatched. I forgot to say my classic phrase. Please like this video and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. There's a ghost walking in. Bye.